Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I oh! have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell? He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Wonderful. <clears throat> Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. Day, no less. Furniture, shutters, paneling, wooden tiles, and more. And no one gathers much time learning from scandalous a behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground.
time to take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and pull him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. Do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's grim times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Cutler's been... Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call, that. me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the
I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Well then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas! Do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> Quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your name, Pratt. Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen of yourself. Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me what... Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I, I don't understand. Well, why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men. 
more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitt plans our man. I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Bradley. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Pitcairn, you fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them, General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Stein Marlborough. No. Its residents are Tukin. One of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize a all the news and much more in today's Gazette.
What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Down Marlborough. Net more of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their per Lieutenant Colonel Washington and Indian allies attack French forces. French commander de Jumonville is killed. Scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying broken... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. Some dark what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Gentlemen, I 
believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. For the widest <clears throat> What is this? A thousand pardons, sir. Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little... of his vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? 
You must be rather important to him if you are given your own escort. Sir, we have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage the enemy! All clear! Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. told us stay out of our way. Of course.
Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness. Um, Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We're like brothers, me and him. Now, what's this Silas want us doing? We need to wrap up the thing. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. Go on, Hickam. We'll hold back the guard while you deal with Silas. Offer? No wonder the friend still pose a threat. I'll deal with this, sir. There's still time for you to play. They'll not work. For the order. The interloper! He's Benzer. the one responsible! Glad Kill to have him! You I could use some help. Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, 
but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. <laughs>